Hello, my stamping friends. This is Oksana from funstamper.com. And today is uh, Wednesday, four o'clock, and we are up for Funky Wednesday again. Today, I'm gonna share with you a really cool card. This is not the card we're gonna making, but the idea. It's only needed to have one piece of cardstock, two score lines, and some decoration, and we could get created. So let me point you down, pull you on my laptop so I could see the comments, and we will keep rolling. Give me a second. All right. Let me get adjusted. So this is the card that we did yesterday at my um, wine class. And interestingly enough, when I was uh, thinking last weekend about what we're going to make, I thought I'm going to teach you this fold. Not necessarily this card, but this fold. Um, because I like how it's uh, using designer paper. You could see it. We actually made this card last Tuesday in my demo group meeting. And I thought I'm gonna teach you this. So I kind of planned already, but you know, girl could change her mind, right? It's nothing wrong with that. So I'm a girl, and so I changed my mind what I'm actually gonna teach you. So I'm gonna teach you this funky fold. And um, I actually came across that fold yesterday and big thank you to Lisa Zvolanek. Uh, she is really successful demo. I was looking, kind of browsing um, fancy folds and I wanted to see what exactly I could um, use kind of for my class yesterday. I was needed one card as always. Um, I'm kind of gonna keep adjusting you ladies. Um, and so I came across this design and I wanted to use this new celebration paper. It's really, really cool. Um, and I even, I actually didn't realize that it has three each, or well, even, yeah, three each, no, four each of each design and three designs. So it's really cool because you could do a lot of cards and I love this black and white uh, design. So we created this card. Um, everybody actually absolutely loved that card. Um, how easy it was to put together. Obviously everything was cut and scored. So uh, I was thinking this morning, let me go ahead and teach you how to do this fold. And actually we're going to create two cards because you could do it slightly different. You could open it this way. All right, let's get started. So what you will need today, just one sheet of any cardstock you would like. Um, I, and because I'm gonna do two cards, I'm picking a uh, real red and um, evening evergreen and piece of whisper white for inside and some stamping. And we are also gonna use DSP. So let's just get cutting. So bring your cutter. And what you're gonna do with your piece of paper, you're gonna do like you normally do your long card, four and a quarter. So this is exactly as you're gonna be doing any card you have. So we're gonna leave this piece as it is, four and a uh, quarter by 11. And we're gonna take this piece, and gonna cut it to five and a half, so quarter sheet. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this one and make it just tiny, tiny smaller than, so it's four and a quarter, a little bit smaller because it's gonna go inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim a, a sliver. So possibly I'll need to trim more. So here's what we need. And I have this piece left over so you could use it for another card. And I'm gonna do exactly the same with um, another one. So four and a quarter, long way cut and this one is five and a quarter or five and a half and I wanted to trim it right away tiny tiny smaller than four and a quarter got it all right and as I have cut right now I will do my standard inside which is five and a quarter by four love those little slivers gonna be all over the place so five and a quarter. It's just some of the scrap piece of paper that I got was stamping on that and four. So we will set it aside and start creating. And four. 
All right, as I promise you, this card is super easy and great for mass production. So you could create many of them for any occasion. Uh, so let's bring our scoring tool. You could use your cutter if you wish. I like my scoring tool. So we will take this piece and we're gonna do our first score at four and a quarter. So it's four and a quarter and four and a quarter square, four and a quarter and eight and a half. And we're gonna do it on another piece. So isn't that easy so far? I think we all can do them at no time. All right. And so now you're gonna be folding them. And for this one, I strongly recommend to have a bone folder because that card will have more than one layer. And for it to kind of lay properly, you wanna make sure it's nice and flat. Let me pull my scraps away. So I'm creasing it really nicely. And so the idea is, this is kind of like, almost like a belly band. And your other piece that we just cut, gonna go inside. And this is why it's shiver, a sliver shorter, so it's fold nicely, so it's not bulging. If it's still, if you like, see like I did it and it still seems bulging a little bit, I will cut a sliver off of it. And we're gonna do the same. So I suggest you to start to test it before you adhere. Yesterday during class, even so I cut for everybody smaller, it's still bulge. And for some of them were perfect and some of them needed to to do so it's still a little bit. So let me just go ahead and cut a little bit. I wanna have a card to look perfect. All right, and just a little bit. You probably could go to four and a one eighths, but I don't want a huge gap. And we'll do the same here. And I didn't do, I normally, I'm not a girl that could wink it. Uh, I'll need to practice my design and see if I like it. So this time I didn't practice. Um, as again, I changed my mind which fold I wanna do. So, all right. So the same, let's, let's test it and let's see if it folds. Perfect, all right. I think we could start assembling it. Um, both of them. So let me get my glue. I prefer to use that wet glue. Any adhesive that you like, you could use. This is adhesive of my choice. It's not stamping up, but if anything that works for you is great. I like stamping up other adhesive like dimensionals and glue dots. It's something that I, and a tear tape, but uh, I use this liquid glue. This is my girlfriend put me on that and since like one and a half year, it's just only what I'm using. Okay, so we decorate inside and inside you could decorate as you wish. All right, so this piece is gonna be gluing here and it could be different variation, like you could glue it, you know, like this. I like it when it's centered. So go ahead and apply your glue here so you kind of know where to apply you could use tear tape if you if you wish wet glue gonna give me a little wiggle room I wanted to make sure everything is nice and straight and again it's not maybe exactly centered but i'm doing my best to center it all right so here's our base fold and we will be ready to decorate i will do the same with the red piece and then we're gonna bring my favorite designer papers that I'm in, absolutely in love. It's free paper, it's even better because it's free, so I'm using it freely. Uh, it's uh, Peaceful Prints, it's a celebration paper. And it has so many different patterns and so on, but I already cut a couple pieces. And what is cool with this design, so you see this piece is four and a quarter by four and a quarter, and this means that you will need just four by four piece of designer paper. 
All right, let's see what I cut multiple and you will decide what you wanted to use. I also cut, so this piece will require two and a quarter by four piece of designer paper. And I was thinking, even so during class, I, cr I did two different DSPs here and here, and I left those flaps undecorated. But if you want to, you could actually put extra piece of white and do stamping there. You could put designer paper. So it's a lot of real estate for you to write message and decorate and make it super uh, special if you would like. So, um, so for, this, for the red card, I'm going to use this. And here looks pretty cool as well. But I will use this gingham one. And for this piece, let's use which, which one to use. Let's use gingham as well. And for inside, I will use that one. So let's glue that. And as I mentioned, so this card you could turn it and it's, you will see it in two different directions. So right now, I'm, and th this doesn't matter for this particular pattern because it doesn't matter how card will go, right? So yeah, I could actually turn it this way and open as so. And as a card, I actually wanted to go as a direction. So this piece measured two and a quarter by four. I will type all the dimensions. Oh, look at this, that's cute. Should have used that piece. Ah, let's use that. And again, you could decorate as much or as little. You could do whisper white and stamp there. Um, we just using designer paper, it's free. So we could, we could use it freely. And for this one, I wanted to go this direction. So I have piece with a little trees. And see what is cool, you could go this direction, right? Because designer paper is four by four, you could turn it any way you like. So we're gonna go and do it this way. As you're watching, please let me know which other designer paper you kind of have in mind and what this card we could put for inside, like journaling, stamping, uh, what you would like to try uh, specifically. Okay, and the same here. So let's just do this one, this color, and Christmas tree at the end to match our design. So this is also a great way to use your designer paper. If you have your favorite ones, just chop it and create. It's showcase a lot of could showcase a lot of patterns for this card and not require a lot of time to create all right so now once again I'm gonna use the peaceful deer it's really funny with that stamp set um, I actually even so catalog is live for some time I didn't really play with a lot of Christmas sets, but I kind of feel that I need to start creating for Christmas. So uh, I, um, but I use that deers for so many things and I'm really comfortable with that stamp set. It's kind of my to go to, if I don't need to know, I don't need, don't need to explore. So this is a stamp set and punch. So uh, as I'm following kind of what I did for class, kind of the same layout. Uh, I cut uh, several labels using Stitch So Sweetly. You could cut a piece of paper, you could do anything uh, you would like to. So I'm kind of thinking kind of along, along this way. Uh, and we're gonna be decorating. Uh, also, uh, I cut a bunch of other labels. We'll see how we're gonna use them. The stamp set has a lot of different greetings and like as I was mentioning to use it, it has so much real estate so you could actually kind of, you know, put things as you open cards. It's kind of keeps giving, right? And you could maybe stamp something here and put it there. So it's so many possibilities, um, the way to decorate and make it special. 
So I'm gonna do just simple decoration. Um, and like I was saying, one gonna go up. Uh, and for one, I wanna use deer. And for one, I just wanna use the trees. Um, the big trees probably will be too big. Um, so I'm gonna use, there is multiple trees. There is some, like those one, there is three of them. And there is two of them and then tiny one. I'm gonna use just two. And I'm gonna use garden green. What I did with my garden green, I re-ink it um, before my class. Because this was after a couple classes and after using it on this one, it was kind of not that juicy. And it's now super dark. So I'm like, I don't know if I kind of like it, but that is what it is. So this one, I will just gonna be dark trees. So I'm gonna kind of create a, a line um, what is cool with the stamp set, so you basically stamp once and then without re-inking stamp another one and it has enough ink to create kind of this little forest. Too quick, but you could always reposition and stamp again. So gonna be for one card and for this one I will start kind of here. They want a variety. I'm brushing, and you will do this one again. Your focal point. You decorate. It's probably something I do have. No, it stems really nice, but you could fix your mistakes. And I'm gonna take this smaller tree and kind of fill in, so they doesn't look like it's the same tree all over. And this one I'm gonna stamp off and stamp here. All right. So now let me stamp. So this is gonna be for this card. And for this card, I wanted to do simple greeting. And what we're gonna do with the greeting, uh, we're gonna do, um, let's do, uh, it's the best time of the year. Yeah, any designer paper or any um, pattern will be great. So think about which designer paper you have. Like Monica, you're saying you're gonna you're gonna use um, plants one. Yeah, that's that's a great one to decorate and um, use designer paper as well. It's so pretty. Okay, so let me assemble my stamp set. And for this one, what I did, you probably all have a bunch of those strips. Don't throw them away. This is just half inch strip. So when you take your piece of basic white and cut uh, four by five and a quarter, you have those strips. They are perfect for actually decorating. Uh, and for this stamp set, it's really tiny. Uh, so it's nice to, to use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and Stamp this one. Wanted to make sure I'm, let me move to myself. Then wanted to get inside the phone. It's tricky to, to stamp on camera. Yeah, it came out good. And let it dry for a second. I know it may smear. And what I will do with this piece, I wanted to add a little bit of ribbon and we'll see, I don't know. It's something that we did similar on another card, like a focal point, so I wanted to do that. So I'm just kind of put this beautiful gingham ribbon. Uh, take a piece, take a piece of um, tear tape. You could use scotch. I like to secure my ribbon with tear tape. It's really quick. And I don't even pull the ends, but it holds it in place really nicely. you could add another layer you know to frame it again right now the purpose I wanted to show you how to create quick funky fold cards that kind of look complicated but it doesn't require a lot of time for you to put it together so we're gonna put it here with dimensionals for four dimensionals in each quarter and a corner And 
we also gonna dazzle it up because we all need little sparkle get the dimensionals out ribbon out isn't that amazing how you make one card sometime and your desk become a mess i don't know i'm a master in that so i never could say that i'm a neat stamper so i'm just kind of cut it to the length here and what i did i cut where is my bedazzle paper here is my bedazzle paper so i cut it at four inches and this is like a quarter maybe a little bit more so i kind of want a little bling so i'm gonna glue it here i mean you could probably just split it and but i'll i'll splurge i will do entire big piece uh, i didn't try that side to actually do it with um glue uh, with uh, regular glue um but what i find is big success to actually like put couple of glue dots and glue dots holding them well because that paper you could see it's kind of like a little disco ball it has it's pretty rough so i wanted to center this piece up and then glue it here and we will tie a bow and we'll decorate inside so what what do you think about this fold i hope you ladies will attempt to recreate again sky is the limit the way you wanted to decorate and any occasion i was thinking even you could probably send somebody and put maybe a photo inside and kind of some little memento like miss you and maybe a picture of you i don't know we'll see we'll have soon i'll have my son going to college back again so maybe i'll do something or maybe you could do a little pocket and put a gift card so i think that fold could could do a lot of things especially if it's open this direction so i'm tying a bow this ribbon is tied so nicely it just right where it's i'm not to be honest i'm not really big on black and white meaning on a black on a card right uh, i like black i probably could wear black all the time if i will not stop myself but um I don't, normally don't use black cardstock and, and stuff like that. So, but that ribbon, it just gets so much accent. All right. So here's the decoration. We're going to decorate um, inside as well. Like we mentioned, uh, it's so much real estate that you could probably, you know, stamp something and, and put it here and kind of reveal more sentiment. Let's see what, what's available. And you could stamp inside and you could probably stamp a tree inside i mean you could just do whatever you want to do with that so how are we doing on time i think i will be able to finish one more card i'm trying not to go much over than 30 minutes and choices choices let's just stamp on two labels and we will Pick which one we like the most. How about that? Let me close it before I get inside of myself. What do you think? This is look cute, right? Yeah, let's go with that one. And to kind of match, I will take a little piece of this gingham ribbon didn't bring my ribbon scissors um, and I'll just take little tiny piece to kind, kind of match and you could probably put rhinestones and stuff so if, if you like what you see please comment please like my video please um, like my page and I am coming to you now every Wednesday at four o'clock and my passion is uh, funky folds and 3D items. But I like when they are not super complicated. All right, here we have it. So this is the fold. And again, you could decorate here and stuff. So this is card number one. Okay, let's kind of scooch my mess. And we will be continuing with this one. So with this one, I wanted to have a deer. 
And for simplicity, for that deer, I find the piece, I have a piece of Sahara sand, and I'm wanted to create quick card, so I don't want to do much um, coloring and stamping and stuff like that. I like to do that, but I also love when card comes pretty quick. So here is my little deer. I'll take a punch. So that stamp set, just for the trees and for sentiments at worst. So I'm, but I think it's with a deer, it could be a lot, like nice winter card. And got that one. And what I wanted to do with this card, I want to use different ribbon. I wanted to use little bling ribbon. So this is another ribbon that I absolutely love. Um, okay, trying to read in German. Glittered organdy ribbon. So what we got, what I'm gonna do, it's just a small piece, I'm not gonna worry about wasting too much of my ribbon. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of tie a knot, knot here. Let's see if I can do it on a camera. Love this ribbon, it's kind of lace nicely and it just gives us nice, beautiful shimmer. Got a little bit too much, but oh well. Just cut the piece. You could probably do a bow. I'm, I wanted to go kind of smaller. Just want a little bit of background so it's not that empty. And I'm gonna add this one with the dimensionals as well. Same in four corners. Using stitch so sweetly, you could probably use um, contour, stitched contour dies. You could cut your own piece of paper. You know what I was just thinking? Instead of designer paper, I could have stamped entire piece as well. It would be probably cool. I will, I will do it probably tomorrow, but I will create it. So I'm centering because I wanted to have my sentiment. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add two dimensionals to deer. Then bring my small ones. But I could cut my big ones as well. I'm add the deer to the card. And I'm gonna stamp once again sentiment and I wanna stamp Merry Christmas. There is other ones that's called Let's Celebrate. So we could just put deer in angle like that. And I still have my scrap piece. And let's just get Merry Christmas. And I'm gonna use real red ink. So we're using real red for that one. If you ladies leaving me any comments, it's really hard to say. I see Audrey commented, thank you ladies. And Sherry, now I see it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will pull a winner next week and I'll send you a card and I send you a sheet of this bedazzled paper. Oh, look at my bedazzle. Didn't work out. All right. And if you have time today or tomorrow, you know, pull some cardstock, pull the designer paper and try to create with this fall, see what you could come up with. It's always when you create at least once, it's kind of become much easier later with, with the fold. And for this one as well, what I did, I have another piece, just a little bit, maybe a quarter, maybe three eighths of the inch. Again, a really small piece, but it goes a long way. So I'm cutting this piece along, as I don't really uh, care about links. Again, I'm working with the glue dots here. I'm gonna put behind, come on, work with me. And I just want a little bit. I don't want it too much, but I just want little, little bling. It's a Christmas overall. And we're gonna just put it here 
and probably should have put him a little bit higher, but too late. So we're gonna put, and it's probably, uh, ladies, I think uh, Sherry is here and Monica. Uh, for you that you made the card yesterday in wine class, this one looks absolutely different, right? Even so, it's the same fold and the same idea and pretty much the same layout with a little strip and sentiment. And so I'm gonna put, put it here. And this piece, I'm gonna just put it here and then I'm laying it flat. I don't put on any dimensionals or anything. Uh, and come on. Probably gunked on me. Got it. And I'm gonna put it here, and then I'll think how I'm gonna decorate. So that's all. So here is the card. Goes this one too long. And you could probably add rhinestones, bank of Stella. I, you know, I'll probably dazzle it a little bit more and maybe stamp inside. But this is the fold, so it opens like this. You could reveal a sentiment. And you could see, you could, you could probably add something here. So this is the card that goes um, portrait mode. And here is my landscape one. Again, exactly the same card, exactly the same lay, layout. Um, it just opens this way. So, bam, bam, da da. All right. So this is two cards we just created. I winked at them. Actually, happy with myself. Not my probably perfect cards, but I will I will perfect that. And this is the one if you would like if you have this other paper, you could just go ahead and use that with a, a pen um, stamp set matches beautifully. And if you don't like necessarily black and white, just go ahead and sponge it. So here we have it. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. I will post measurements. Uh, please visit my blog, funstamper.com. If you would like uh, to buy anything, let me know, any supplies. I do appreciate um, you sticking with me. And have a blessed week. And until then, happy stamping. Bye.